Hey guys, it's Vinu back with a short video today. So today I'm going to show you guys how different art styles have different kinds of line work and how you can replicate these line work styles for your animations in Blender's Grease Pencil. So I made this short animation of some frogs croaking but each one has a different art style with different line work. So let's dive in further and see what these different styles are. For this video I'm going to be focusing on three different line work styles. Starting off with old school anime. Most of the old school anime like Spirited Away and My Neighbor Totoro which are amazing works of Studio Ghibli have incredibly thin outlines. These animations have more grounded proportions and try to keep it sort of realistic compared to other cartoons. They don't really try to over stylize characters like modern cartoons so they tend to keep things as close to real life as possible. Secondly, we have TV animation from the 80s, 90s and early 2000s like Hanna-Barbera cartoons. Some great examples for this are shows like The Flintstones, Top Cat and The Jetsons. Now these animations have very stylized line work compared to anime that we looked at earlier. The line work usually varies from thin to thick lines rather than being one thickness. This creates a much more stylized and fantastical look. So this is what I'll be replicating in the second style. For the final style, we are going to replicate animation from modern times. Basically stuff that's after around the 2010s. Prime examples for this style would be Gravity Falls and stuff like Teen Titans Go. The characters from this have extremely basic shapes that can be animated easily. And when it comes to the line work, you can see that the lines are quite thick compared to the other styles and they are always uniform in thickness. So all of this is what we need to replicate in our animation. So for this animation, I wanted to animate something that I could quickly and easily animate and showcase the three different styles as well. So I thought of an easy animal to draw out and I thought of frogs since they have a quite primitive shape without too many complicated parts to animate. So I started by doing some concept art for each of these art styles. I drew out different frogs that could fit into different shows from these different time periods. And then I finalized on the three designs that I would be using for the animation and set them up together in one concept art like so. But before I start animating, I need to make sure that I can replicate these line work styles inside of Grease Pencil. So I go into Blender and ink over my concept sketch and I was able to achieve the different styles of line work all with the default brushes provided inside of Grease Pencil. Now that I know it's possible in Grease Pencil, I'm starting to animate these frogs. I'm gonna make them inflate their throats and croak since that would be a quick and easy way to animate these frogs and breathe some life into them. So as you can see, I'm starting off by animating the anime frog. Also note that I'm not really emphasizing on the thickness of the outlines right now since I'm still at the sketching stage. And then I'm similarly animating the frog from the 80s as well. I'm also drawing him in a way that I can emphasize the stylized line work all over him by giving him exaggerated physical features different from a real frog. And for the final frog, in the modern art style, I'm making him look like a round ball since all these modern characters are made out of primitive shapes. And I'm also giving him a stylized grumpy look as well. And now comes the most important part of this video, the inking. So I'll be starting with the anime frog and for that we need really thin uniform lines. I found that the F ink pen works the best for this. So I select that brush with the radius or thickness set to 10. Since we're working with super thin lines, it's a bit difficult to have fine control when you do the inking. So I'm also going to increase the active smooth to about 0.8. And I also put smoothening to 0.1 under post processing right here. And then I ink each of the frames individually and add a noise modifier to add a little bit of wiggle to the lines when he's static. This makes the animation a bit more lively. So for the next style, we are going to use the same F ink pen brush, but bumping up the radius to about 35. And we are bringing down the active smooths to about 0.5 since we don't really need it to be that strong when we are using thick lines. And similarly, I ink each frame for this frog as well. But this time I'm continuously trying to make the lines go from thin to thick, which creates this stylized look that's there in the cartoons of this era. Finally, we come to the modern era frog. 
For this, we need super uniform lines unlike the other two. So we're going to select the F pen, which has a stroke with a uniform thickness. And then we bump the thickness all the way up to around 40 and put active smooth to 100% while putting smoothening under stroke to around 1.20. And then I carefully ink all the frames uniformly while keeping the line work as clean as possible since that's what this style exceeds in. And now to finish everything off, I'm gonna start coloring them. I'm giving the anime frog a very soft and realistic green as this style has the most realistic representation of frogs in their natural form. I'm adding some natural looking shading to its underside using the text sweat brush as well. And then finally I'm giving him some shadows using a multiply layer to give it more depth. For the next frog I'm gonna go with a more striking and cartoony green with a flat yellow for the underside. Also I won't be adding any shadows to this as they were not present in most cartoons from this era. And finally, I'm giving the modern frog a bit of a bluish green as characters from this style have very abstract and stylized color schemes that don't really need to adhere to natural colorways. So I'm also replicating that right here. And this time, I am adding some shadows to this frog as most cartoons nowadays come with a shadow layer as well even though it's very simplified. And there we go. So I hope you guys learned how different line work styles can be achieved in Blender and applied to your animations. And most importantly, had fun while doing so. Don't forget to let us know what you think down in the comments and share your own creations on our Discord. Big shout out to our awesome patrons on Patreon for supporting us. So if you want us to keep making more cool videos for you guys, you can go support us over there. And we've got a Discord as well where you can hang out with us and other creatives and share all your awesome work with us. So don't forget to like, subscribe and comment what you thought about today's video and have a great day and we'll catch you guys on the next video.